Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is set to present his victory plan in Washington. The US has already said it has seen some of the general outlines of the plan and believes it is practical. However, as The Times columnist Mark Galliotti writes, Kyiv and the West may have different views on victory and it is unclear whether Ukraine's allies believe the enemy can really be driven out. As The Observer writes, the West believes that one of the goals of Zelensky's plan is to retain the support of allies. As the German diplomat noted in a conversation with Galliotti, I don't know whether it will bring victory over the Russians, but it is probably intended, like everything else, to force us to stay in line. At the same time, Galliotti writes, there is considerable Ukraine fatigue in the West and a growing sense that the time has come to end the conflict, even if that means establishing an ugly peace. At the same time, the Observer notes, Western allies do not have a unified opinion on how the war should end. Instead of resolving these contradictions, the West hides behind the empty mantra that Ukraine itself must make the decision. Unwilling to directly resolve its differences over how this conflict could end, the West has failed to reach agreement on several key dilemmas, he notes. At the same time, the article says even the most outspoken allies of Ukraine are skeptical that Kyiv will be able to recapture all of the occupied territory by military means. Even an avowed Ukraine hawk from a Polish think tank admitted to me, Ukraine's borders have often shifted over time. The real struggle now is to make sure that Ukraine's borders shift as little as possible in the future. He writes, the unfortunate consequence, Galliotti writes, is that if Ukraine continues to refuse to acknowledge any territorial losses, the conflict will turn into an eternal war. After a certain point, exhaustion will set in and the military conflict will fluctuate between episodes of brutal fighting and temporary ceasefires. But it will not end, he notes. As reported, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky plans to present a plan for Ukraine's victory at a meeting with US President Joe Biden. It includes four main points and one more that will be needed after the war. US Ambassador to the UN Linda Thomas-Greenfield said the United States had already reviewed President Volodymyr Zelensky's plan to end the war and believed it could work. Zelensky later said that the victory plan schedule is designed for quick decisions to be approved by Ukraine's allies in October to December. Then we think the plan will work, he said. The search for missing people in southern Beirut following an Israeli strike that killed a top Hezbollah military official continued for a third day on Sunday. The health ministry reported that the death toll has risen to 45, with some remains sent for testing to identify additional victims. Ali Muhammad, a local official and engineer, said 15 bodies remain to be recovered. Meanwhile, the local municipality brought in a crane as they try to retrieve people's belongings from the damaged buildings. Lebanon's Hezbollah launched over 100 rockets early Sunday across a wider and deeper area of northern Israel, with some landing near the city of Haifa, as the sides appeared to be spiraling toward all-out war following months of escalating tensions. The rocket barrage overnight sent thousands of people scrambling into shelters. A Russian missile barrage on the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv late on Saturday has left 18 people injured, including four children, according to regional authorities. There were several strikes on the city of Kharkiv with guided bombs. One hit in front of a residential high-rise building. Currently, about 60 people have been evacuated from the area, Kharkiv Governor Ola Sinihubov said from the scene of the strike. Two people remain in critical condition the regional military administration said in a statement. The strikes were carried out using Russian military aircraft delivering FAB-250 guided missiles that struck northern districts of the city proper as well as several locations in the surrounding suburbs. Two standalone houses outside the city limits caught fire but resulted in no injuries, the administration said. Scores of vehicles and other structures were damaged in the aftermath of the strikes as well, authorities added. فعم يتم سحب هذه الجثمين تواليا البارحة تم سحب بالنهاية 11 جسمنا وبالليل 6 جسمنا هلأ متوقع المتوقع أن يكون حوالي 15 جسمنا بعد منزل